Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. How many solutions are there to kx equals e to the x for different values of k? Okay, so the first thing that's coming to my mind here is that um, it'll be useful to uh, picture what these two functions look like. So, you know, we have a, a linear function through the origin with a slope of k, and we also have an exponential. And uh, we might want to think about um, the sine of k in particular is going to be kind of important here. Um, okay, so first let's draw a figure of what's going on. I'm going to handle the first case where k is negative. Uh, if k is negative, then the slope looks something like that. Um, and the exponential is always going to look something like that. These clearly always have only one point of intersection. So for k less than 0, one intersection. Uh, let me say one solution. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll write down the relation that we're considering here in the first place. kx equals e to the x. Okay, so for k less than 0, there's only one solution. Uh, it's also kind of obvious that when k is equal to 0, there are no solutions. Right? If our pink curve here just lies along the x-axis, well, the exponential is never 0, so there's no intersection. Um, and now we want to think about positive values of k. Okay, uh, I guess I only really need to draw this for positive values of y here. Okay, so the function kx looks something like that. And I suppose we could have anywhere, we could have 0, 1, or 2 intersections here. Um, if the exponential, if the slope here is very low, uh, the exponential may never intersect, or it may intersect once tangentially, or it might come below, you know, if, if this, if the linear thing, well, yeah, here are the three possible cases for uh, the intersections. If I extend this one out infinitely, there will be another solution. Okay, so let's figure out uh, which values of k uh, correspond to which of these three cases. I think maybe one easy way to do this is let's look for the case when there's only one solution and let's do that by um, thinking about maybe doing that by matching the derivative. Maybe that won't be, maybe that won't be so easy. Um, so let's say f of x is kx and g of x is e to the x. f prime is the constant k g prime is the cons is the uh, function e to the x. Um, if we are to see okay what yeah so if we're looking for the tangent if we're looking for the value of k which gives us the case where the line is tangent then that'll happen at the value of x when e to the x is equal to k this gives us x is equal to log of k. So then what I want is when x is equal to log k, I need the original two functions to be equal. So we want f of log k to be equal to g of log k. So f of log k is k log k, g of log of k is just k. So this gives us log of k is equal to 1, and so k is equal to e. All right, um, so this says that when k is equal to e, there's one solution, right, because this will give us the, the solution which is tangent. Uh, when k is greater than e, 
we will have two solutions. And when k is bigger than zero but less than e, actually I guess we could we can group this up into when k is equal to zero. Let me copy this down so we can have the full solution written all on one page or all in one section. Yeah, so the case of k being this case here that I'm highlighting, this can be combined with the k equals zero case by just changing that. And there we go. I think we've considered all possible values of k in this list here. We have negative values, zero. Maybe these should be interchanged so that they're in order like this. And uh, that's it, yeah. Um, this really came down to uh, just as soon as I saw the relation that we're thinking about here, just visualizing what the graphs of these two functions look like and how they could possibly intersect or not. Um, and then I guess, you know, the key in figuring out the boundaries between where we change from zero to one to two, um, I think solving for that point of tangency is still the only clear way that I see to figure this out, but maybe there's another clever way of doing it. Thanks for watching.